Welcome back to another video here on Style LC. Let's go ahead and get started on doing this set. All the products are going to be listed in the description box. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them below. And don't be a stranger. Say what's up. Let me know if you're liking these videos. Or if there's anything that you want to see me do. Okay. So let's get started. I am using this really cute pink color on the middle finger and I'm gonna use the this nail as the I guess it's, since it's the middle finger I use it as like the center piece of the design so whatever I want to focus on the most is gonna go on this nail and then everything else kind of goes around it that's how I do my freestyles I just go off of the middle finger and then work around it and it really looks really cute and cohesive and it's a really easy way to create a design. So I'm going to be doing two beads and that's going to create the tip of the nail and I'm just going to try to make it as smooth as I can while, um, while I'm applying it so I don't have to spend so much time while I'm shaping it. So I really take my time and there's really no rush. Um, this is my favorite part of doing nails. If you do nails, comment down below what is your favorite step of doing nails. For me, it's just the acrylic application. Like, I can do this for hours. And I do, I do do it for hours. <laughs> so, whatever. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be doing the acrylic bead. I lied, I'm gonna blend in backwards. This is my favorite kind of technique is like blending it backwards because it makes it really like smooth. Um, and even if I'm missing any spots. So um, afterwards I'm gonna add the acrylic bead and this is one of my favorite beads to do. I know that's kind of weird. Or is it not? Do you have a favorite bead? let me know if you have a favorite bead so anyway um, I'm gonna finish up doing this nail and yeah sometimes it take a long time to make it smooth but I just ha kind of have to make it perfect because I don't feel comfortable like with it not being perfect so I'm gonna finish this nail and then I'm going to do the pinky nail. So now I'm going to do the pinky nail and I'm going to do this entire nail with this really cute like clear glitter acrylic and I am going to be doing pretty much the same application. What I really like about this color is that it's really workable. I love this color. I love this consistency. I love this acrylic brand so it's always a, a hit for me so yeah I'm gonna just apply this on the nail the nail is a little bit smaller than the nail that is on the, the hand but I feel like these nails are really wide let me know if if you have this hand and you think the nails are wide too because the nail tips that I used are like the regular, you know, like C-curve long nail tips. And I I cut them. Like these are shaped. Like I trimmed them with the clippers. So these are shaped. Like the nail tips do not come like this. They're a lot wider. And I'm not about that life, you know. Like I'm not about wide nails. Not, not me. This is not the 80s, okay. So I am like just 
over that. So, I don't know. Maybe, I, I don't know if I want to maybe get a different hand that has smaller nails. Like a smaller, thinner nail bed. Or maybe it's not even a big deal. Anyway, so, I again want to apologize for the lack of focus. Um, what I'm going to do, there's two things I'm going to do. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get a different tripod or a different stand. I'm gonna, the one I'm going to get is from Archon Mount. If somebody wants to buy it for me, um, just tell me that you're going to buy it for me. And then, um, like, just sell me or Venmo me or cash at me or Apple Pay me. Um, it's like $170. So, just saying. Even if you want to send me like $5 for it. <laughs> like, that's cool. <laughs> so, um, yeah. I, I want somebody to buy it for me, honestly. Um, that would be a cool gift. Um, so, number one, I need to get that mount. Because that way, I'll get a better angle of the... Of, of what I'm doing because the way I'm set it it's set up right now on my tripod um that's gonna be for more like makeup videos that I do not nail videos so I'm still missing my tripod so I'm gonna get the the tripod and then number two is um I forgot what I was talking about let's pause that for a second I'm going to go ahead and do the pointer finger and I'm going to be doing a ombre with these two colors. So I'm going to apply the glitter color and make it as an ombre and then use that same pink color. So as I was saying, the first thing I'm going to get to make these videos better is that tripod. So hopefully somebody could either buy it for me. If nobody wants to buy it from me, then I'm just going to end up buying it. But, yeah, it's the Archon mount, the one that's for a camera. So, that way I can get really good angles. Also, I'm going to, um, what's it called? I'm, when I'm filming, I'm going to bring out my iPad and go on the Canon app and see it through the iPad instead of seeing it through the, the viewfinder or whatever it's called because sometimes I look through the viewfinder but sometimes I forget and it's like out of my reach so I kind of have to look out of my way and adjust it when I can just do that all on my iPad you know what I mean so I'm gonna do that because that is possible to do I've done that before but I when I did these last two videos I honestly kind of forgot that I can do that with the iPad so next video is going to be a lot better quality as far as it being staying in focus so I'm not going to edit the parts out because you can still see what I'm doing even though it's not in focus hopefully you don't mind as much so um yeah just kind of like work with me here and I am I don't know if maybe there's like a different setting I need to do on my camera uh, maybe I'll look into that as well so that's three things that I'm going to do and then I guess the fourth thing that I'm going to do is get a um a microphone because I feel like the recording is not good the audio is not good so I'm going to be like a full-time YouTuber with like all this equipment I'm about to get. So it's about to be legit. So yeah, mm, you can zone me, you can cash at me. You, that's all on my Instagram. All my highlights. How to receive payment or how to send payment. <laughs> and that's how you pay me, boo. So yeah. So I... I'm sorry that that was not in focus, but I'm going to be doing more videos, so don't you worry. Make sure you're subscribed so that you don't miss them because I don't really have like a routine. Maybe I should, but I just do it when I like, kind of feel like it and then I'll like edit it and then upload it and then do another one. 
you know what I mean? So, I just want to do more videos. Okay. So, another thing. I'm just going to let you kind of watch this part because I feel like I've talked too much and I'll be right back. so for the ring finger I did not record me doing the like the what would it be called I didn't record me doing the nude part but I'll be doing that in another video so don't worry I'll be doing that in a different video um, where I kind of explain more how I do like the French now so my vision of this nail was to kind of marbleize and kind of mix the pink and the and the glitter. I didn't want it to be necessarily like solid. So you can see like I just kind of like slapped it on there and just put clear on top and called it a day. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of this nail per se. Afterwards I was like oof. Like that's not really like what I wanted I feel like I should have just put butterflies all over this nail and rhinestones so we can match the middle finger but I just wanted to do something different and it came out cute but I don't know I'm not a, I'm not a fan of it to be honest but that's okay I am going to encapsulate the nail and I end up adding a little bit more acrylic off camera so you don't really see that part but I do end up building up the nail a little bit more and yeah I'm just gonna let you watch the encapsulation drop it in here to say thank you if you have made it this far thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing and liking it really means a lot to me it lets me know that what i'm doing is reaching you is reaching somebody and is helping somebody so if you maybe you just like watching my videos but if you are a nail tech if you do nails you know don't give up just keep going keep doing what you like to do and have fun with it you know like my goal like I do want to grow my channel but my goal is to have fun and to make videos so that's where I'm coming from and hopefully you guys appreciate that so now I'm going to be adding on these rhinestones and I'm going to do the center of the acrylic flower so yeah guys don't don't give up you know sometimes like things are difficult and things are out of our control but we just have to keep going and, and find the little things that make us happy and hold on to that and do that every day so i'm going to start doing the acrylic flower i usually add acetone to the monomer but I let my sister use acetone for her nails and she didn't give it back to me. So at the time that I was doing this, I, I was just too lazy to ask her for, ask it back, ask her for it back. <laughs> so I was like, whatever, I'm just going to try it and see how it is without acetone. And I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I'm never going to go back to doing acrylic flowers without adding acetone to my monomer like you can see like my flowers don't come out like this like I don't know 
if you've seen my previous flowers that I've used acetone with, like, they're a lot cuter. But these are still cute. Don't get me wrong. Like, I still like it. It came out cute at the end. But that's, like, my biggest tip from doing 3D flowers is put some acetone in there because it'll just be, like, todo mango. <laughs> I don't know if that's, like, even a thing. But... If you get me, you get me. So yeah, so I'm just going to do like little blobs. And then I'm going to pull the blob down so that like it has like a little tip. And then I'm going to make it like a little, uh, like a little, take a little bite out of it. And then when I do the side petals, I start with the center. And then I do that same little kind of motion. And then um, when you're doing it, don't do it from the center on each one. The ones on the top and bottom are to be angled kind of inwards so that they come from the same center. And because I've seen some people with acrylic flowers and they like come off from the, like if they come out of the rhinestones, but they're all supposed to come from the center. So if you kind of angle them inwards, then it looks more like a flower and not so like awkward so that's kind of a tip there on how to like shape it and where to place it because that has a lot to do with it too i ended up adding like some diamonds on the top and bottom of the flower because i accidentally got some like acrylic on there and i just didn't want to take it off so i just added it because i thought you know why not and it actually looked really cute so Sometimes, like, when you make mistakes and you kind of work with it, <laughs> it kind of comes out better than expected. So that's kind of what I feel like where my life is right now, <laughs> too. So we can relate. Um, yeah, so I am right-handed. So when I was doing the left side of this flower, it was really difficult. Um using my right hand so what I think I'm gonna do is next time I'm gonna use my left hand because um, I'm not like a left-handed or ambidextrous whatever it's called I don't know if I pronounce that correctly ambidextrous ambidextrous but I I can still use my left hand for a lot of things so honestly I can probably do it with my left hand so Mm, I'll probably do another video coming up on 3D because this was not really that great of a, of a video. So, um, yeah, I'll probably do another one. I have so many videos I want to do. So, it's just kind of like, it is a process though, like, uploading it and all that. And, yeah, it's still fun though. I really like making these videos for you guys to watch. Um, yeah, so I'm going to finish up doing this nail with the flower. And then once I finish up the nail, um, at this point they were already shaped. I filed them on the sides and then shaped them with the nail filer with the, with the sanding band. And yeah, I'm just going to let you go ahead and watch the rest of this little flower. So that's the end of this video and this is the final result all I did was add some top coat and a matte top coat on the middle finger and then added these really cute butterflies see you in the next video bye